Hi, welcome to the Star of Wands Tarot channel. This is Taurus and Aquarius Love Compatibility. If you are new, I am working with Tarot Insights. If you don't know anything about Tarot, please feel free to search my channel and find out about it. Um, I know you guys are getting tired of just kind of like Googling the articles as to why you probably clicked on here today. For those of you that are into the zodiac and astrology world. Okay, but um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you love these videos and you'd like to see more of them. And it resonated and it helped out a lot about love compatibility and connections. Okay, thank you. So let's hop right into this. Taurus and Aquarius love compatibility. Taurus, you have the potential to be an Aquarius wife and or husband. Okay, um, this could be a marriage. The reason why this could be a marriage is because Aquarius would commit to a Taurus. It'll be a long-term commitment. Though it'll take a while for them to understand that Taurus is the one, they would commit to Taurus. Reason being is because you might catch um, Aquarius when Aquarius is having a bit of a, a free spirit at time. You know what I mean? Other than that, um, I do see that if you guys were to come towards each other, this connection um, would take a lot of communication. It'll seem like it'll be blocked communication because you guys want to be able to fall in love instantly it'll take some time to get to know each other um it'll take like actual physical contact for you guys to feel each other um so there wouldn't be no emotional like you know connection just yet it'll be kind of like uh i seen you i thought you're attractive let's get to know each other let's chop it up here's my number talking 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 for months and then eventually you're like okay let's take the leap of faith let's get physical physical i want to get physical physical let's get physical you know so then you guys will get physical now aquarius will instantly end every fucking person that comes in their way of taurus and their connection so that means if if aquarius was seeing other people before they took a leap of faith with you and had sex with you um you're so bomb taurus whether you're male or female you are so bomb and everything that you do um Aquarius would stop everything. I'd stop the world if it lands me with you. I don't know the words, but you know, you know the words. And so uh, Taurus would be like, okay, they would think the world of Aquarius for doing that. Like if you sacrifice things your whole life for a Taurus, Taurus is totally on board with this connection. Okay. You better be sure that you're being honest about that Aquarius. Okay. If you don't know, now you know. Okay, so, come to me. There we go. All right, sorry, my cards keep falling on the floor. I do have children, so you see my son in the background. <sighs> Money's coming in because my skin is itching. Or some of you guys, have got, you've got money coming in. And maybe an Aquarius will financially satisfy you. With long life, you will satisfy me. You will satisfy me. With long life, with long life, you will satisfy me, you will satisfy me. Who knows that song? With long life, I will praise you forever. All right, let's pay attention. So this partnership could be long life. That's why I was singing it. This could be a forever, ever, ever, ever connection. This partnership is like popping. So instantly I got the Aquarius could be the husband, right? And the Taurus could be the wife, right? And then it's like husband and wife. Okay. Marriage is in my cards. I got the six of pentacles, which means this is an even uh, connection. So you guys are both goal oriented, both business oriented, both money making uh, manifestation, money making machines. And that's why this connection could be ruthless and work like don't fucking talk to my Taurus and don't fucking talk to my Aquarius. We're together for the rest of our lives and you can't touch this. Excuse my language for the children. <laughs> All right. Okay, so here we have um, Five of Cups. So there is an emotional toll that someone is taking on someone. Okay, so how I feel is like either Taurus is going to be super emotional and feel like uh, Aquarius eventually starts to kind of like, this is how the relationship starts, right? And then the potential outcome is Aquarius will start to make Taurus feel like they have a lack of emotions, like they can't connect to them in the way that they loved uh in the beginning or the way that they would love for them to connect to them in the nurturing essence that Taurus require 
of a person that they're in a relationship with. Taurus requires a lot of emotional intimacy. Okay. Yeah, and I feel yeah, like yeah, um yeah, for some reason, you have Aquarius is going from the loving, nurturing, spiritual aspect of the Emperor. Hey, now! So Aquarius is going from the spiritual aspect of a uh, divine partner for Taurus to the armor. Like they put on a shield of armor where now they're being so righteous or self-righteous and arrogant and kind of coming off as like stern and firm and putting Taurus on the back burner. Like it's like Taurus built up Aquarius' confidence where Aquarius start feeling like they need to grab their nuts and be like fucking Chief Keef and shit. And then it, it leaves Taurus like, wait, what? Like, why would you leave me like that? Like, why would you make me feel like I'm on top of the world to bring me back down? Like on some manipulative shit. Use my language for the children. So Aquarius could perhaps start off amazing and then for some reason once he starts to see how sweet Taurus is, truly is and easy to wheel in the way he willed Taurus in, he'll start manipulating Taurus or she depending on um, the sex and the gender. Yep, there's deception. There's a twin flame, going, I mean not twin flame. Uh, there's booty call energy where people were going to go see other people going out, hanging out with friends, investing their time and energy in other situations, um, communicating with people that don't deserve their energy or their time or even their conversation and, uh, getting in tune with, uh, the beauty of life in general, which means their Aquarius starts to enjoy the luxury of life when being with the Taurus out of nowhere. So, like I said, you can still marry an Aquarius. The relationship could be beautiful as long as you guys keep that brand new energy that was there in the beginning of the relationship alive. You can make it work. But as soon as Taurus, as soon as you start seeing your Aquarius fall off, you better start stepping in there and getting Aquarius to pay attention. Like, hey, 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 hey. So this is more of like a beware reading. Be aware of uh, what the hell Aquarius is be up to when taking advantage of a Taurus. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.